morning, my friends. We're not gonna try the pastry shop first thing because they got a long line, even in the rain, so let's go hit it. We're gonna hop on a train or a bus or whatever it'll take us over to Lisbon City Center and explore the city today. Days with Jordan the Lion. We'll return to here later. my friends we just made it to Lisbon City Center so we're gonna start walking around even though it's raining it's a pretty interesting city center because like I said yesterday well actually I've been saying this whole trip in 1755 they had a series of natural disasters within hours of each other and destroyed a lot of the city so they ended up having to rebuild a lot of the city new as well as keeping some of the old so we're gonna see some of that and uh, somebody just offered to sell me cocaine so that's what you get in Lisbon yep I kid you not I kid you not I wasn't even off the bus for more than 20 minutes and somebody was trying to sell me drugs. No thanks boss. Now check this out. This is Commercial Plaza and I love this. I mean this is just, they say this is a real hot spot for people just to hang out and enjoy Lisbon, but man I can totally see why when you look at the detail on this statue. I mean all the way around it's got things. October 12th, 1883. It says it's uh, statue of Joseph the first now commercial plaza is pretty much right across the water so let's go take a look at the water and then we'll turn around and we'll start heading into the city and show you a little bit more we actually have a pretty big day planned today and one of the things that I'm dead set on doing today is riding one of those 1920s train car historical routes. And right about now I'm glad that I bought a new camera a month ago and have something that's weather protected. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the water. And P.S. Puma, your shoes might be good for basketball but they're not good for walking on cobblestone because I already wiped out once. You can pretty much just walk right down into it. How cool, I almost slipped again. Now what I wanna do is I wanna head over to the Lisbon Cathedral. Now here this sign shows the, kind of what I was talking about. This was designed after the 1755 earthquake but it was considered, wasn't considered finished till 1873. Well, here's one of those 1920s train cars. I almost feel like I should take it now. It was pretty full. I'll wait till another one. Don't you love these sidewalk patterns? And me, I like all the lions. And this kind of stuff. And of course there's always the option for a little tuk-tuk ride. And I don't know if it's necessarily all that funny, but I keep laughing every time I see it. Is Every time I walk by somebody for the uh, that works as the Garda Nacional Republica, they're basically like, you know, city guards. They all wear shirts, like polo shirts that have a big G and R on the back, and I'm sitting here seeing it laughing, going, Guns N' Roses? I actually do need a haircut. I might get one here. What the heck? Oh my god, that's amazing. He's even doing it to Guns N' Roses. Gotta love that. Check this out. I'm gonna have to have coffee with this guy. Isn't that great? They have like a little uh, seat and everything. This is a very famous coffee and drinking hole. 
I want to check it out a little bit. Let's go. Wow, pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a coffee here for sure. All right, she's way too busy. This is all a line. This guy's got something wrong with his throat. Oh yeah, look at this dude. This is great. Right here on the street. Wow. I'd burn my hair off doing that. Amongst other things. <laughs> awesome, dude. Well, look at this unique piece. Look at all the details in here. And they really, they really went above, above and beyond the call on this one. You even have part of Lisbon right there at the base. And there's a nice little photo op for someone. Right at the base of this, they have this really great uh, ship. Well, I think we've made it to the cathedral. Spectacular, what do you think? Oh wow, can't wait to get inside. So this is supposedly the oldest church in Lisbon. It was created in 1147 and surprisingly it's withstood numerous earthquakes and horrific events and yet it still stands. They said that they did have to um, replace parts of it and kind of repair parts of it. So it's got I think they said six or seven different styles of architecture included in this, but it still stands, 1147. And look at how you enter in these big doors. They have like a little hole cut out. Oh, that'll be cool. So this church is also known as the Say. If you've ever heard of the Say in Lisbon, this is it. Unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, to read who's buried in these. Oh wow, I love these. Check this out. These miniature villages. Maybe a little hard to see through the glass, but I saw a ton of those in Italy. I love them. Basically shows the whole village in there. Wow, isn't that beautiful? These benches must be from like the 11 or 1200s. And this section is known as the Chapel of Santa Anna because this was Santa Anna Princess of the 16th century and look down at the feet of her. She also has her little dogs. That is such a great painting, I love that. Wow, look at this. I love all that blue and white tiling. That's all over this city. I've decided if I ever own a house, I'm gonna do that to the house and just put tiling all over the outside of it like they do here.
It's always interesting to me how they have little chapels and like so many of them inside the actual church. There's always like six or seven mini chapels. Oh wow, look in this room. You can tell these are all the religious. Those look like Pope hats, so they're probably Archdiocese hats, I would guess. Because since this is a Roman Catholic church, I'm almost positive this is kind of the home of the Archdiocese here. That was an awesome church, I love it. All right guys, I'm not being lazy. I'm gonna take a tuk-tuk up the hill just because I want to get some footage out of it. So we're gonna go to Castello St. George. Well, here's our next stop. These are the kind of tilings on the outside I was talking about I like. Not this specific one, but this style. As you can tell, it's festival time. And there's a shrine to the protector, St. George. One of the interesting things about this castle is not only do you get a pretty good view of the city from here, but parts of this castle date back to 2 century BC, some even 6th century BC. Now it's been renovated, it's been changed because of, you know, obviously the natural disasters have ruined it and everything, but uh, there are still some of the original walls here. And if you can believe it, Lisbon dates back to even before the Romans. In fact, when Caesar became the emperor, he changed the name of the city and named it after himself. Now with it being as hazy as it is today, I'm not sure what all we're gonna be able to see, but I brought my deep, deep lens, so. We'll do the best we can. Oh wow, what a view, huh? That was totally worth the eight dollars and fifty euros to come up here. Check out the castle just for this view. There's our bridge. And here we are with our zoom lens. You can get a little bit of a better view of the city. There's a pretty cool statue right here as soon as you walk in as well. I'll check that out. They still have the cannon set up. All right, let's go take a look around the castle. Oh wow, look at this one. It's all in wood bracings. Cool cannon. Check out all this. Look at that. They just have them like scattered all over the ground. Cannons everywhere. And now we're on another side of the city from what we've already seen now. Check that out. You may look at it and go, so what, it's a wee old table and some chairs. Actually, apparently, they invented black cork here, and these are black cork seats. Yeah. Oh, look at that old oven. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. Look at the peacock strutting around over there. All right, let's go up here. Well, we made it up the stairs and look who's up here. All right, let's take this pathway down. Oh, way cool. And you've got the cannons right there. Oh, this guy even works. And here's a statue to Manuel the First. Whoa! No disrespect, but he's got He-Man hair. Not too many people can pull that off. Good job. Heck, man. He-Man might have even been modeled after you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go in here. Gotta go investigate. All right, there's all kind of paths you can take in here, but this one takes us to the Tower of Ulysses. All right, let's go this way. And I'm guessing we want to work our way up there. Here's one of their wells. 
All right, we made it to the top. And there's the stairway to the flag. Can you imagine being on night watch up here? Now I want to check this out. All right, we're back up here because this is the way to the archaeological site. And there it is. There's some of the original history I was telling you about a little bit earlier. So that 6th century, 2 century BC era. So this section right over here is from the 1100s. That's the, uh, the Moorish era. All right, let's make our way around the rest of the castle. Just can't get enough of looking at the city tops here. Yeah, I think we've just about seen it all. Looks like we've hit our last wooden door that's closed, so we're gonna take off here. Well, my friends, I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing a little bit more of Lisbon. If you'd like to help donate or contribute to this adventure, go down and see the description links below. And everyone, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching and goodbye.